Hello, I'm Satish Singhal. Hope you read this disclaimer. Please don't think that this video will replace your studying the ebook that I have or studying your textbook. After studying ebook and textbook, this will help you. We want to talk about what are non static class constant members. These are simple constant class data members that have keyword const in their declaration. Constants are included in class design because while the value of constant class data member may vary from one object to another, it would stay unchanged during the lifetime of a, of a particular class object. Perfect example of this is the primary key for a row in a database record. Each row has a unique primary key that does not change after the record in the database has been created. Another perfect example of constant for records of a student at Santa Monica College is the ID number of a student. Once admitted to SMC, your ID number is fixed and it will not change ever. Uh, another example would be social security number of people in United, United States. Once a number is assigned to you, it will not change for the rest of your life. Those are the non-static constant data members. In case I wanted to create a class for a person in US or class for a student at a college. Let us now go to Visual Studio and design a class that would include a constant field called ID, which we will make a string type because we will never do any arithmetic on it. Here's my class, student. For the sake of convenience, I'm putting only four fields in there, the ID number, the first name, last name, and the GPA. First three are string type. GPA is the double type. Notice how constant class numbers are declared. You have the keyword const, then the data type, then the name. Okay? So type value here is the string which is a constant, and name value is ID. <clears throat> now, in C++ so far, you are used to initializing constant like this. You could put, let's say if ID number is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, you could put that, <laughs> you can put that in quotes, <clears throat> and you can say, well, you know, that's the good enough initialization. Uh, while you could do this for local variables or for global uh, constants, okay, uh, one speech error right there, constants are not variables, so you could do this for global constants or cl uh, local constants, this is not allowed. I can show it to you, let's compile this. <coughs> And it says only static const integral data member can be initialized within a class. What they're saying is that if this was integer type, it was static, then you could do the initialization. Otherwise, you cannot do it. So obviously, we cannot do that. <coughs> so how can we initialize the constants that are not static and that are not in integer type. This is done by using something called an initialization list. Let's write the constructor for this class and we will show you how we can initialize the ID. So constructors are public in general. So we write our word public. And I'm going to 
going to write the constructor like this public sorry uh, I don't need the word public again student <clears throat> for my default constructor this is how I can um, initialize the string ID I put a colon and then the constant field name which is ID and if I wanted this ID to be one two three four five I can just do this five <coughs> and I initialized the ID number to one two three four five okay rest I can initialize inside the class if I wanted to so I can say first name in this case not set last name also not set <coughs> and GPA equal to let's say 0, 0.0 and I got my constructor of course you can ask me the question that how do I know that it got set to this value in order to confirm that we will need to write a print function <clears throat> so let me quickly write the print function for you void print const because it's not going to change any class data member so we can say C out <clears throat> first name last name and C out ID and see out GPA in real print function we'll write more things but this is good enough for the purpose here uh, now let's let me hold my breath and compile it and good thank God it succeeded so everything is okay. So let me create a object of type student in my main function and then print it to see that ID got set to this value. So student S1, when we do this, the default constructor is called, which will be this one. And I just say S1 dot print. And let me compile it and run it now. Compile fine, let's run it. And of course, we see this thing here, first name not set, not set, ID one, two, three, four, five that we set here, GPA zero, and of course, as you know, instead of 0, 0.0 it's printing 0 because we didn't set the show point but that's fine so everything is fine so basically uh, class constants like in this case ID is constant are initialized using initialization list this is my initialization list here it just starts with a colon the class member name which is a constant and its value inside the pair of parentheses the rest of the non-constant members you can initialize the usual way uh, <clears throat> in the next video I will show you that you could initialize all the members using the initialization list and that is actually uh, preferred for a number of reasons, uh, you can provide default values for the constructor parameter 
and you can use the initialization list and you can really fold uh, the default and explicit constructor into one. I'm going to show you that in the next video. So for now understand that constants are initialized only using the in initialization list. I cannot put it inside the class uh, even. Okay? Uh, thank you. <clears throat>